This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at text animation in Apple Motion 5.4. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to animate text using lights in 3D. There's no limit to the number of lights we can throw on. I'm going to do a quick 3D light because I want to show you how this works, but more importantly, how to turn off the existing light. Because there's actually ambient light that is built into motion. It is always on. That's why you can see the characters. There's like room light. And this is what the title looks like under room light. So let us open up the inspector, which I need. Hide the project plane, which I don't for the moment. And there's my text. We're going to hide action safe so I see the full frame. And we go up to object. Change my mind. Go up to object and we're going to add a new light. Gives us a warning message saying you can't do lighting unless you switch to 3D. So we switch to 3D. And notice nothing changes except we now have a light up here and we have some unusual controls that we haven't seen before. This allows us to view our clip from a variety of different angles. If you've ever seen an architectural drawing or the floor plan of a set where you're essentially hovering over it, looking straight down so you can see where the walls are and the chairs are and figure out where cameras are located and talent blocking. That's exactly what we have to work with here. We are working with a set design, an architectural plan, showing our lights. But in order to see what we're doing, I've got to turn off the ambient lighting. The way that works is you select your 3D text because lighting is really on an, on an individual element basis. With 3D text selected, you go to Inspector Text Appearance. Okay, I'm going to hide the 3D. Under Lighting, see where it says Standard. Okay, we're going to turn Lighting off. Then under Environment, we're going to uncheck Environment. And our our text disappears. Let me do this again because this is not this is not easy to figure out. By default, our text is lit with a standard light. It's actually lit with a three light field, but we want to turn that off. We want to get rid of all existing lighting so we can light it ourselves. So we go to lighting and set this to off. Then we uncheck environment which talks about bounce light that's coming in from the environment and now our text is not lit. We have to light it all manually. Well, we've done that on set since the beginning of time, so this is not a hard concept for us to think about. We've been dealing with set light and trying to make stuff look arty since we first picked up a camera. Well, now we get to do it inside software. I'm going to turn the light on, so now we have a single light lighting our 3D title. There's four different types of light. Ambient light, which lights in all directions equally, that's the default. We don't want that. We have a directional light, which is like a bank of light pointing in a single direction. Think softbox. We have a point light, which is like a, a par light, where it's okay, but it's not particularly focusable. The one that I like is a spotlight, which gives us edges. I'm going to change the color of the spotlight to something <laughs> saturated. We're going to pick red. Well, the main reason we're not moving this is because our light is too close to the text. Well, how do we back it up? We've got to look at our architectural drawing. Active camera shows us what the camera sees. If I go to top, this is now looking down at the light. There's my text. There's my light. Go up to here and back up. So now I can see my text and my, well my light is right on top of the text so I'm gonna grab the blue arrow and pull it back and in the low right corner this shows me what my text now looks like I'm pulling the light back enough that I'm illuminating the text well, I, I wanna have the text have I don't want to be lit from the front how boring is that I'm gonna grab this and drag it over so I'm now going to light it from the right side and grab this curve and drag it over. So now my light is being pointed at the text with fall off. Let's go back to active camera. Now our fall off makes sense. We can determine where the light falls off, how bright it is. Notice how we just see 3D and we have, we can control this by tweaking our light. Just like 
panning a light on set. Except I don't have enough light yet. Hmm. I'll just pull this up a bit. So we'll pull this up, tilt it down. There we go. So now our light is coming in from up right. And we can see that it's bright there and darker there. Let's add another light. I'm going to call this first light red light. I'm going to call this second light blue light. And again, select our color blue here. There we go. Change it to spot and go back to our top view. Again, it's on top of the text. Drag it over, drag it to the side, change the direct. Whoops. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller so we can work with it. There we go. And now, notice in the low right corner, I can see the blue is being picked up. Let's go back to the active camera. Look at that. And we'll pull it down a bit, tilt it up a bit. And let's do one more and real quick, and then we'll be able to wrap this up. Let's add another light. Go to our top view, grab the light, go up to here, change it to spot, turn it around. Got to look for the right color, otherwise you're illuminating it the wrong way. We'll give it a backlight. And now we'll put our, our lights to work. I want to have, I'm going to add keyframes. So we're going to go to properties. I'm going to put my playhead where I want the move to start right here. And on my backlight, I'm going to set a keyframe for position and set a keyframe for position and rotation. We'll go to the blue light, set a keyframe for position and rotation. Go to the red light, don't move the playhead, position and rotation. Now we'll just do this blind so I can show you how this works. I want to have the red light move over to here and spin this way. I want to have the blue light move over to here and spin. Uh, go back some more. There we go. And I want to have the white light go over to here and spin. Where'd it go? Okay, so now we'll just watch this all at one time. So we'll start here. And the animation starts. Look at that. Our text isn't moving, but our lights are moving and our colors are moving. And obviously, if I had a few more minutes, I would tweak the position of the lights. And if you want to hide it so you can see the text by itself, go to View, Turn Off 3D Overlays, make sure nothing is selected, and press the F8 key and blow this up full screen. And from the top, it looks like this. Is that not cool? This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at text animation in Motion 5.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 246. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.